Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm so excited about this makeup tutorial. I feel like I look naked in this tutorial because of this top slides down really low. I'm constantly having to like jack it back up just so that the shirt is in the frame. But today, I did a beach glow inspired makeup tutorial. This isn't necessarily a look that you would have to wear to the beach because most of us don't wear makeup to the beach. But if you want to wear this to the beach, you totally can. But it's more so like a look inspired by beachy tones, the glow you get from being in the sun all day. You guys could totally wear this look to the beach to take photos for like a little beach photo shoot, you know? It's beachy and it's glowy and it's got soft tones and nothing's too structured. The skin is very luminous and strobed. I love it so much. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Before we get into this tutorial, please make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up if you want to continue to see some summer makeup themed tutorials and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. And also please be sure to come follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and on Instagram. I'm always on Instagram when I'm not on YouTube and um, yeah, now we can get into the tutorial guys. I always struggle like getting out of the intro and into the actual tutorial. So tutorial now guys. <laughs> so I've already started off by prepping my skin. I washed, I cleansed, it's the same thing. I cleansed my skin and I moisturized. I used my Avienne Extremely Rich Compensating Cream. This stuff is almost gone. I actually talked about it in a favorites video a couple months ago. Still love this stuff. Um, and then I did a little bit of lip balm. I used this one from EOS. And now I'm going to start um, prepping the skin for makeup. So I'm going to be using, should probably put my hair behind my ears. So I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Extra Illuminating Balm. I absolutely love this. The trick with this is to really warm it up in your hands and then just start by applying it all over your skin. And I also do like to take a little bit extra and kind of put this on the skin just because I am wearing an off the shoulder top. <laughs> I like to give the moisture balm just a couple moments to really sink into the skin before I start going in with any extra product. So I'm just gonna chill for like two minutes and let the moisturizer do its thing. These are the Marc Jacobs, these are the Marc Jacobs gel drops. They are do you do drops do drill. <laughs> and these are very intense, they're super concentrated, so they're really amazing. I'm using, I'm talking about these like they're plural. So I'm just taking a little bit and what we're gonna do is apply this to the high points of the skin so that it shines through underneath the makeup. So I really like to do a little bit more than I would typically wear just because the makeup is gonna hide it a little bit. So see how pretty that is? It really illuminates the skin. But now we gotta even it out. We'll do this side too. For my base, I wanna use something with coverage but it's still gonna be sheer enough to let this highlight shine through. So the man for the job is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. If I wear the shade Honey. I personally think if you're swiping this on the skin, you could disrupt the highlight. So what we're gonna do is just put this on the back of the hand. I'm taking my Beauty Blender and I'm gonna be applying a little bit of the Tatcha Dewy Luminous Skin Mist to my Beauty Blender just so that when I use it to blend in the foundation, I get a little bit of extra glow. So I just like to start off by dotting this all over the face. And the areas where we have the highlight, try to do a little bit less coverage there. And I'm just gonna stipple this in using my Beauty Blender. Moving a little bit of the product onto the eyelids as well just so that the shadow has something to stick to. I want the eyes to glow and twinkle, but I don't want them to be too structured. I want it to look really lived in, model off duty, very just glowing, you know? I'm gonna take the shade Betty from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is one of her eyes to mesmerize shadows. I'm gonna pick it up just on my finger like so, and just kind of lightly apply this all over the eye all the way from lid to crease. And then I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush and just kind of softly blend the product out, kind of add more as I go, but just give it a little bit more of a diffused line. Taking a little bit more of that product, I'm just gonna pop it on that outer corner and kind of blend it inward on the eye. 
So just until we've got something similar to this, just where the outer corner is slightly more defined and deep than the rest of the eyelid. Next, I'm gonna be using one of the new, new and exciting Bobbi Brown Sparkle Sticks. These are cream eyeshadow sticks. This one is in molten bronze, and it's just a beautiful twinkling bronze. So I'm gonna apply this more towards the front part of the eye. It has really gorgeous, noticeable flecks of glitter. And I'm just gonna like softly blend that all over the eyelid because again, I don't want this to look too structured. I want it to have some shape, but more than anything, I want it to just look like I swept cream shadow across the lids. And the best part about this makeup look is it does not have to be perfect. You really can do whatever you want. I'm bringing this molten bronze shade a little bit higher just because I do want the sparkles to kind of come up to the brow bone. I want to brighten up the under eyes just a smidge because I feel like they need something just to kind of like brighten them up. So I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I wear the shade NC35 and I'm just going to pop this right under the eyes. I like to use my fingers a lot just for the warmth of them and I feel like it'll make products get really nice and melty. So I really think using your fingers for a lot of stuff is the way to go. Now while I'm waiting for the concealer to just kind of do its thing, sink into the skin, I'm going to fill in my brows. I'm using the Strut Brow Pencil. This is from MAC. And then I'm just going to blend in the concealer using my Beauty Blender. I'm taking Charlotte Tilbury Betty again, but this time I'm going to use a little pencil brush like this. And I'm just going to kind of work the product into the bristles and then smudge this on the lower lash line just ever so softly. Now I am going to be setting the face because we're using a lot of super creamy products and I just want to keep things from migrating around different areas. So I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Coconut Loose Setting Powder. This stuff is amazing. It's honestly the most hydrating loose powder I've ever used. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of product on a Jenny Pattenkin cheek brush. Always make sure that you tap off all the excess just so that you don't have powder overload. And I'm going to use this to set the under eyes. This is Almond Rose from Maybelline. I'm gonna be using this as a blush just because I find if I use a powder blush, it mattifies that part of the face where I like cream blushes just because they mimic the texture of your skin and this is such a pretty shade. Let me put it on the back of my hand so you guys can see it. It's like the perfect blush shade. So I'm just gonna use this on my fingers and slowly apply it to the apples on my cheeks. It's really pigmented, so you do kind of have to just slowly build up intensity, but it's gorgeous and definitely one of those shades that looks like you've been at the beach all day because it's just a nice, natural rosy flush and then you know how when you go to the beach you get a little bit of a sunburn on your nose we're going to mimic that using the cream blush so just pick it up with your fingers and make sure you get all the excess off and just lightly tap this around your nose just right on the tip of your nose i'm going to be taking the bronze shade from the charlotte tilbury film star bronze and glow just going to pick this up on an angled brush and i will be lightly contouring my face just to add a little bit of shape and this contour is really nice because it's really natural and it actually has a tiny bit of shimmer to it so it doesn't look quite as shadowy as a lot of other contours. I'm just gonna be taking the same brush and I'm gonna bronze the skin with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Bronzer. And this one we're gonna be pulling in a little bit further to the center of the face and really just using this one to actually fake the suntan with. Now for the glow, I'm going to be using this sleek highlighting palette and I'm actually going to be mixing these two shades right here, the two cream shades, just because I kind of like how they create a nice middle ground. It's not too bright and it's not too dark. So just using the two of these and applying them right to the high point of the face. I'm applying the highlight in a larger area than I normally would because I want the skin to be like overall a lot more reflective. Now I'm also gonna be taking this bronze powder shade right here and just using a fan brush, tapping off the excess. And I'm gonna apply this in larger areas on the face, trying to avoid those pimples, but that's life. I have two pimples right now. It's fine <laughs> and just kind of applying this in larger areas on the face lightly so that we get a little bit more of an all-over glow 
Now I'm going to be taking just a tiny bit of the NARS Orgasm Loose Illuminating Powder. comes in a little pot like this. And on a little blush brush like this one, I'm just going to lightly pick up a tiny bit of the product. And we're going to be applying this on the apples of the cheeks right on top of the lipstick that we use as cream blush. Because it's just going to give the blush a little bit more illumination and make the blush look more glowy. So I'm just gonna like lightly swirl that in place and you guys will see. It just gives you a little bit more of a rosy illumination. For mascara, I'm using the Essence Get Big Lashes Volumizing Mascara. And then for brows, I just ran a little bit of the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Boost and Set Brow Mascara through them. I'm gonna be lining my lips today with a little bit of MAC Whirl. Look at this thing, it is so tiny. I have seriously used this thing so much. It's such a little nub, but this is just one of my favorite lip pencils of all time. If you guys have been watching me for a while, then you know how much I love MAC Whirl. To give my lips just a little bit of a nude tone, I'm gonna be using the new Le Rouge Liquid from Givenchy. This one is in Nude Cashmere. Um, you just twist it and then the product comes out of the top, just using a little bit. And it's kind of like a you know peachy nude, so it's really pretty. Lip color is really pretty, but I think this look just deserves a little bit more of a glossy moment. So I'm gonna be using a lip gloss from Neutrogena. It's part of the Hydro Boost. Hydrating Lip Shine in the shade True Nude. And I love the little applicators on these. It's like a cute little spoon dofa applicator. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I feel like I looked like I was naked the whole time I was filming this video. I thought this shirt would sit up a little bit higher, but it, it sits a little bit lower, so I'm like, keep hiking it up. Um, this is the finished look. I really didn't necessarily want this to be like a makeup tutorial that you literally have to wear to the beach, although I would wear this to the beach, especially if you were going to the beach to take photos or going out to dinner and drinks at a restaurant on the beach. It's really just a look inspired by a beachy summer glow and I just wanted the eyes to like twinkle and glitter and soft, fresh, super, glowy strobed skin so I love this look I think it's perfect for the summer so if you guys recreate this look I want to see photos be sure to send them to me and I'm also gonna have all the products that I used in this tutorial linked in the description box down below I will also be sure to answer any questions that you guys have regarding this tutorial the products or the techniques anything like that you guys can always hit me up in the comments down below and I will get back to you yeah, come follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and come follow me on Instagram. I am always on Instagram when I'm not on YouTube, so be sure to follow me on there. Send me DMs of some more summertime makeup tutorial vibes. I love the inspo photos. Keep them coming, guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one, guys. Bye.